Welcome back to our unfiltered vlog. This week we're in Athens, Greece, and we're gonna show you the perfect one day itinerary. Some of you may know me from Instagram or TikTok, but for those of you who don't, hi, my name is Melina Prouse, and my husband Samuel and I have been traveling together for the past three years, exploring the most incredible places around the world. We cannot wait to share them with you and hope that our insights and experiences will inspire and help you plan your next budget-friendly and unforgettable trips. Without a doubt, Greece has become one of our new favorite countries. Everything from the food, the history, and the architecture is breathtaking. So let's go ahead and jump right in with our two-day journey all the way from Hawaii to Athens. We're currently downloading all the Greek movies. <laughs> all of them. Actually, to be honest, I haven't seen Mamma Mia, so I felt like now was a proper time to give it a go. Have you seen Mamma Mia? What did you think? <laughs> Canada. Oh yeah, baby. How many hours in? Um, well, we had like a six hour flight from Hawaii to the mainland and we had just now a five and a half hour flight to Toronto. Now we have a 10 hour flight. I just learned this song. I'm playing from watching Mama Mia. You guys, you guys, you guys, this is where we're gonna be. Oh yeah. What is, what is this? and we cannot sleep. It's basically dinner time for us in Hawaii, so I'm so hungry. But obviously nothing's open, so I'm kind of in a predicament. Anyways, we're gonna try and sleep now so we can show you around Athens. Mina. Hmm. Rise and shine. <sighs> no, I'm not tired. <laughs> I did it. I got up. We got some clothes on. It's about dang time. <laughs> My heart. <laughs> Look at his face. I know. He's so happy. He may pet the royal back. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at it. more. How is it? Mm. Best Greek yogurt I've ever had. Well, our debit card is not working because we were really stupid and we didn't um, set it up beforehand. So it got flagged and now we have to wait until tomorrow so we can contact our bank. So we had to take a cash advance from a credit card, which is not good, I don't recommend that. And this ATM just took our card. So we currently have no money. <laughs> it's all good, you know, we're moving on. We're going to the Acropolis. It's a sunny day. First tip, bring water. The Acropolis dates back to the 5th century BC and is beautifully made out of marble. According to Greek mythology, it is said to be the birthplace of Zeus's favorite daughter, the goddess Athena. The Acropolis was originally created as a fortress and the name translates to High City. It was a sacred place of worship for Greek deities, although over the years it has been used by both Muslim and Christians as well. Today the Acropolis is a beautiful symbol of democracy and Western civilization. I just want to cuddle him, but he's kind of dirty, you know? <laughs> Now we're in the ancient Agora 
we're gonna go see the Temple of Hephaestus. Oh my god! It's honestly kind of cooler than the Parthenon, I think. <laughs> it's the most well-preserved temple. That, in, that would in make sense. Greece. Wow. Is this what it feels like to be old? I don't want to be. We've literally just come from up there to here. The Temple of Hephaestus was constructed around 449 BC. It is made out of marble as well and was dedicated to Hephaestus, the god of fire. It is the most well-preserved temple in all of Greece, mainly in part that it was transformed into a Christian church in 700 AD, being dedicated to St. George. Hey, yo, mister, you're not supposed to be walking on the sacred temple steps there, buddy. Tired? Well, yeah, pretty tired. <laughs> the temple was my favorite part. Obviously. The Temple of Asbestos? Yeah, the Temple of Asbestos was, <laughs> was the bestest. <laughs> this is our second to last stop. We're going to a cute little town called Enefiotica. Hopefully I said that properly. But they're known for having cute little buildings, narrow little streets, and I don't know, we're gonna check it out. This is definitely the cutest, cutest place in Athens. So aesthetic, adorable. Wow, I just, it's amazing. He's a happy little guy. Here at this famous rock where you can come watch the sunset right below the Acropolis. Foster or the beef stew? Uh, we just like got tunnel vision and just started eating. Um, oh my gosh. Dude, we totally forgot to video again. We ate the whole thing. Anyways, it was good. It was really good. I would recommend it. Make sure that you wear comfortable shoes, okay? Tomorrow we're going to Milos. I'm super excited. We're leaving at noon and we're taking a ferry. It's gonna be about three hours. Do you hear my neck? It just cracked like five billion times. Check this out. It's a closet. Psych! This is in a closet. <laughs> Bro, I am this close. This close to what? Check it out, man. Oh my goodness, what is going on here? Disaster. Dude, this is the galley. Anyways, I really need to use the bathroom, so... Too low. Thank you so much for watching our vlog. Hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. <laughs> the Chippy Bop, look at it. Doesn't he look like a cat that just belongs in Greece? Look at him. White, blue eyes. Wait, you boop, 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 boop. <laughs> okay, we'll see how long he stays. Oh, this is not lasting long. <laughs> <laughs> if you have one day in Athens and you're tired and jet lagged like us, this is the best itinerary. If you can, we would also recommend adding in the Acropolis Museum. We didn't have time for that or money because you saw our cards got eaten in the ATM. But that's definitely <laughs> recommended. And if you're like us, you're definitely headed to another island. Uh, we decided to go to Milos, which we would highly recommend. Definitely the best island. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thanks again. Go ahead and hit the subscribe and like button. It helps us out a ton to keep creating this content for you and giving you all of our tips as we travel around the world. Till next time. Bye. Bye.